Welcome everybody, this is Chris Cox for an ACDC guitar lesson. We're going to do Back in Black. Uh, this is going to be in a standard tuning if you want to play along with me or if you want to play along with the album. So let's go ahead and get started with the introduction riff. So this is uh, going to have lots of five chords or power chords. And so the first one's going to be an E5 power chord. Now that's basically, you're going to play the open E. You gotta put your first finger on the second fret of the A, playing those two strings together. Now we're gonna switch to a D5. So it looks like a D chord, but we're gonna leave out the high E. So we're not gonna play the high E string. We're gonna play the open D. We're gonna put our first finger on the uh, G string. It's the second fret, that's an A note. And then we're gonna put our third finger, ring finger, or middle finger on the third fret of the B string. And then we're gonna do a so it's a down, up, down. So we have this so far. Okay, now we're going to switch to A, A5. So similar to like the E5, all we're going to do is take our first finger, put it on the second fret of the D string, and then play the open A. We're going to play those together and do a down, up, down, up, down. So let's do that again slowly. Okay, so E5, D5, A5, or E power chord, D power chord, this is the same thing, if you're used to seeing that kind of shape, it's just played in a different spot on the neck. Okay, so the next part we have the little lick, so we go... Okay, that's a fast little lick and it's basically what's going to involve the high E string, B string, and G string. So we do a... And that's not going to sound good place slow, so you have to kind of do a... So I'm going to describe that bend. So we first do a third fret of the high E string, and then we're going to play open high E. We're going to go to the third fret of the B string, and then play the open B string, and then we're going to do this. Okay, so it's like you're bending a full step down, so a full step is two frets, and then you're pulling off. A pull off means that you're pulling your fingers down, you're not actually plucking the string, you're just... So you can see I only plucked that string one time. Okay, so let's, let's play that. I'll try to play, it doesn't sound very good slow, but I'm going to play it for you slow. So, sounds great played fast, it's a great lick, but that is a tough little lick to get the timing right on. So after that it repeats again, we get back to the E5, D5, A5, then we play this riff. Okay, so we're going to be working with the A string and the low E string here. And we're going to be, when I say pivoting back and forth between a note, it means basically we're playing you know, one, I play one note on one string and I go to the next string, the, you know, the, the string closest to it, and back and forth. So I call it a pivot. So it's like... Now if you notice, my reference note is going to be the second fret of the A string. So I'm just going to keep my first finger anchored there. Okay, so, but down with the low E string, with my ring finger and pinky finger, there's where all the movement occurs. So it's going to be... Okay, now the frets that you're, you're going for here is going to be 4th fret of the, the low E, 5th fret of the low E, 6th fret of the low E, and then 7th fret of the low E, and we're going to trail off. So instead of just muting and stopping that note, you're going to, you're going to slide. So you're keeping pressure on that 7th fret, and then you're back to the E5, so it's... Okay, so that repeats several times through the first verse, 
On the last time through, this is where we're going to be going into the chorus. So again, we're going to be using these power chords. ACDC is the power chord band. I highly recommend if you are wanting to learn how to play great riffs and great rhythm and really get your rhythm tight, ACDC songs. That's the place to go for sure. One of the tightest bands in, ever. Uh, high, highly underrated band. So uh, we go. So that is all of the chords for the chorus. So let's go through that. So we're going to be back to this A5. We're going to go A5 to E5 to B5. So the B5 is going to be, that's a, that's a new one. Uh, you're going to have your first finger on the second fret of the A. Your ring finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the D string. So we have... And now all we got to do for this next chord is just lift up our first finger and go. Okay, so when you lift up your first finger, you're still going to play that A and D string together and just keep your third finger or your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D. So we have. Repeats again. the next part. So we know a normal, you know, G major play like that. Great chord, beautiful chord. Doesn't work so well in rock, you know, that, that especially having that major third, that, that B note in there just doesn't work. So what ACDC does is basically plays like a power chord. You could play just a, a traditional power chord here if you wanted to, but they're doing more of a you know, you know, adding a few more strings in there makes it sound a little brighter, but they are muting the A string. So the A string, you're not getting anything. You're going to get open D, open G, and then your third finger or ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the B. So we have, so that's G5, D5, we had that one earlier, A5, and then we'll have this little riff. All I'm doing there is playing the single note on the low E string, the third fret, it's the G note. I'm doing a little half bend there. Just pulling my finger down and then I'm going back to the A5. So we have... It repeats back. A5, A5, E5. Ending of the course, we do a one, two, three, that G5, then we go to D5, three, three strums down, and we're back into the main riff. See, you know, I, I flubbed that one. There we go, it's a little better. <laughs> so once you get into the second verse, everything's the same, same riffs that we learned in the first verse. First, the same licks, everything's the same. Uh, we're going to go over the what's what's going on underneath the guitar solo as far as rhythm guitar work. Because Malcolm Young is, again, another completely underrated guitar player. You don't hear a lot of people talking about what a great rhythm player Malcolm was. Um, he was, you know, such a backbone of ACDC. So, you know, it's I, I always think it's, it's, it's never a good thing to learn a song and not take the time to really understand the rhythm, even what's going on underneath the solo, even if you, you know, the solo is the exciting part, but it's good to understand what's going on through the whole song. So we're going to go over this. So it's real similar to what uh, we had before, you know, considering it's kind of like a blend between the opening riff and the chorus. So it's got a...
So, lot, lots of chords we already know. We've already learned this stuff. So we do a E5. We go to the D5 and do the down, up, you know, down strum, up strum, down strum. Go to the A5. That when we come back to the E5, we're going to do a riff that sounds like this. Again, this is all underneath the guitar solo. So we do that again. Then that riff that we did in the chorus, we're just, and it's very similar, we're just going to play it slightly different. So we do the little half bend on the third fret of the low E, which is the G note. And play the A5 power chord, go back to the G note, and then back to the low E, so the E5. So let me play that part again really slow. So that goes through four or five times, and the last time right to the end of the solo. So we're going to play this part for you, uh, building up right to the end of the guitar solo. So we got. guitar solo. So this is going to start with a low E and then I'm going to be hitting the seventh fret of the A string and some vibrato on that note and then I'm going to let the note trail off. So I'm keeping pressure on the E note and then slide up the fretboard. Now we're going to go to the fifth fret. We're going to play the low E and then we're going to go to the fourth fret of the A. So we have this so far. Okay. Now from here, we're going to slide from about the fifth fret of the A string to the seventh fret. And we're going to go. Okay. Okay. So when we slide, Fifth fret of the D string, seventh fret of the D string, then we're going to do a bend. So we're bending all the way and coming back to that A note on seventh fret. So and you can pick that or pull off. So we could do a pull off from the seventh fret to the fifth fret of the D string. Repeats again. Same exact riff. So let's let's go over that and play what we have so far. I'll play it really slow. Okay, now from here we're gonna be on the seventh fret of the G string. We're doing a And then a slide. So when I'm, I'm basically play, I'm bending the string up, and then I'm doing downstrokes on this this lick. And then I'm sliding from the seventh fret to the ninth fret on the G string. So and then adding vibrato once we get to that low E. So okay. Now once we get down here. So basically, once we get here, we slide, we're going to do a, and that's going to be from the ninth fret of the G string to the eighth fret of the B string. So, so ninth fret, eighth fret, back to the, back to the G string, and then two plucks, and then you're going to add vibrato with that. 
And now from here we're gonna do a this we're gonna be on the eighth fret of the B string. We're gonna bend up on the tenth fret of the B string. So So when we bend up, we're pulling off. So when you bend up on the tenth fret, you're pulling off to that eighth frets. Then once you do that pull off, you're going to repeat those notes. So tenth fret, eighth fret. So so when you do that, we're back to where we started there on that E note on the G string, the ninth fret. Okay, so let's play what we have so far. Okay, now we're we'll do that same little look here again from the 8th fret to the 9th fret. We're going to go 8th, 9th, 8th. Okay, so that's where we're basically bending up on the 10th of the B, of the B string. And then we're grabbing the 10th fret of the high E string with our pinky. So we have... So when I grab that, bend that note up, I'm going to bring that top note, the B string, down again and then go, but we're going to let that high E ring. Okay, then when we come back, we're doing, once we've got that note up, so we're letting the B and the high E string ring, we're going to go and let it come back down, so now when we come off of that you're going to hit that high E again on the 10th fret and then you're going to allow that 10th fret of the B to come back down Back to the 8th fret, back to the 10th fret, okay? Okay. I have to think about that next lick. So, once we come off of that, um, We do a so we're playing basically uh, eighth fret of the B string to the ninth fret of the G. It's like a it's like a pedal note, pedal uh, pedal kind of a pedal lick. I think is what they call these. Uh, I know you've seen like a Ingve. Um, I don't play Ingve Malmsteen stuff at all, but he plays a lot of pedal pedal tones, so it's kind of like a pedal lick, so, um, so we do a 8th fret of the B, ninth fret of the G, to the 7th fret of the G. So we have this much so far. So 8th fret, ninth fret, 7th fret of the G, and then we're going to come back to the 8th fret of the B. And then we're going to play 8, 9, end on the 10th fret of the B. So, okay, so we, and then we repeat that kind of a double stop pedal steel type lick. So we have, uh, we'll play the, what we have so far. So once we play this lick, we're 
going to be moving to another part on the neck. So we do it. So we're going to bar our finger across the 12th fret of the B and high E string. So we're doing a... You're going to play the B note. And you're going to strike the E note on the high E twice. And then you're going to do uh, two, two uh, picks down. Okay, so we... And then there's going to be some vibrato on the end of that. And then we have a... Oops. I can play it. So let me play this up to speed for some reason, uh, for me anyway, once you learn something up the tempo, sometimes it is hard to bring it down <laughs> the slower speed to teach it. So we go. So when we do that, we do a, uh, in this lick, you're going to see this lick again uh, in a different variation later on in the solo, but it's the, uh, So we're basically playing from a high E to 15 to 12 on the B. We're pulling off. And then, so we got 12, 15, pull off to 12. And then we're going to come back to the 14th on the G. So once we come back to the G, we're going to go back down to the B note. So 14 G, 12 um, B, and then back to the 12 on the G. And then we finish most of this lick here on the um, 14th fret of the G. So and we're, going to we're going to pick this note twice. So when you're doing this, you're going to have to bar your pinky finger across the B and the high E string. Uh, so, okay, so if you kind of see when I come off that fast leg, I'm bending up the G string, which is 14th fret, and I'm going to grab the 15th fret of the B string. And I'm going to grab the 15th fret of the a high E string. So again, it doesn't sound great played slow, but I'm going to try to play it again slowly for you. And then that lick finish was with a uh, pull off. So you're pulling off from 14 to 12 on the G to the 14th fret of the D string, back to the 12th fret of the G, to the 14th fret of the G, so, and then vibrato. Okay, so we have, okay, then we have this loop. So we have, Okay, so what we're doing here, again, barring our finger, we're going to be using our first finger to bar across the G and B string, and our ring finger to, to, to bar across the G and B string on the 14th fret. So we have a from 12 to 14 on the D. Then we're going to we're going to pluck these two strings together, the G and the, and the B string. So 14, excuse me, 12, 14. Okay. Then you're going to come back to the 14th fret of the D. So it's bar across the 14, come back to the 14 of the uh, D string.
similar to that last lick, we bend up on the 14th fret of the G, and then grab the 15th fret of the B with our pinky. So I'm bending up, play. 12th fret of the G, back to the 14th fret of the D. So let's play what we have so far. Then we do a So that's similar to that first lick that we just did earlier, but we're going to play it differently. We're going to bar our finger across um, the G, B, and high E with our first finger. And then we're going to do it, we're going to pluck the high E, so 12th fret, then pull off from 15 to 12 on the B. So back to the 14th on G, back to the 12th on the B, pull off from the 14th to the 12th. Okay, let's play what we have so far. Um, Okay, now in the last part we're doing it. So this is going to include um, um, us playing the high E open. So we do a high E first, and then I'm hammering on from the seventh fret of the G to the ninth fret. So we get a. And we want that to ring. So high E, hammer on from seven to nine. High E again, so we have high E again, and then we play the exact same thing, except this time we're going to hammer on from the sixth fret to the seventh fret on G. So it's the same. If you know this, you can play that. You're just going to play it from the the sixth to the seventh on G. And then from the fourth to the sixth of the G. Now that lick is basically that uh, E minor pentatonic position. So we're doing a. You've seen this a ton of times in rock songs. It never gets old. So you're going to do a bend up on the 14th fret of the G. So you're barring across the B and high E string, so we bend up. And then we're going to grab the 15th fret of the B. And then we just do two times. Bend up, bend up again, and add some vibrato. So it's a... Uh, Okay, then we repeat again. So we're going to go to the last guitar riff before we go into the final solo. Um, so this is, I'll play it for you. Um, Tricky riff, very, very, very challenging to play. So all of these notes on this riff are gonna be picked. So there'll be no pull-offs or hammer-ons. And you wanna make sure that, you know, when you're doing this, you wanna do down-up picking. Down-up picking or alternate picking is what it's often referred to as basically a more efficient way 
to play uh, guitar and it, it allows you to play lines that are fast more efficiently and smoothly where if you were having to do all this downstrokes that would be not that you couldn't do it but it would be challenging so we want to make sure that when we're playing we want as few you know as the least amount of tension in our hands and our forearms and our shoulders as possible so if you're having to do really you know fast lines and you're doing all down strokes or all up strokes um, there's no way you're not going to have some tension in your wrist and fingers and hands forearms everything so we want to make sure that we're doing you know when we're learning something we want to play it in an efficient way so this is where technique comes in and so it's down up picking so I mean you know you're going to play one note down the next note's going to be up the next note's going to be down so we're going to let's go this slowly so uh, fourth fret of the A string fifth fret of the A string back to the fourth fret of the A string and then we're going to hit that low E so we have this so far okay after that we go back from the fourth fret to the third fret of the low E so we have this so all we've added is a fourth fret third fret of the low E okay, then we're going to shift down the fretboard and do a Okay, so our B note here on the 7th fret of the low E is our reference note, so we're coming back to that note. So we go B, 5th fret, so that's 7th fret of the low E. So the 5th fret of the low E, go back to the 7th fret of the low E, to the 6th fret of the low E, and then we're going to do two picks down here, and then let that trail off. So all together slowly. is played through four times. Now the great thing about this is the next part of the riff is exactly the same. We're just going to play it on two different strings. So this time we were focused on the low E and A string. This time we're going to play in everything from the D string and the A string. So it's the same thing. Fourth fret of the D, fifth fret of the D, back to the fourth fret of the D, open A, fourth fret of the D, third fret of the A, so we have okay, and then we're going to come down to the seventh fret of the A and do that same thing again. That little walk down. So that's seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, sixth fret, two picks on the seventh fret. Let it trail off. Back to the original riff on the uh, low E and A string. Back into the chorus. 